Hi, welcome to my uh, Ubuntu system. Ubuntu 16.10 is out. Yes. What have I done? I have already upgraded one level up, so 4.8.0 is the version we are getting. So I thought, why not try and get the 4.8.1? And that was a success, no problem there. I've installed ZSH to have a little bit more color in my terminals. I have the ambience at the moment present here and Arc Red Dark, which is a variant of the blue version of Arc. And sadly, Vertex is the one we're looking at, and that's about it. I think we can get rid of this. This movie is about Sardi. So, Sardi and Ubuntu 16.10. I think I've had to make about 8 or so uh, changes. So, that's okay, no problem. Um, I wanted to go to this first. So, Sardi, this is the home of Sardi. You can download the files on Sourceforge. Source Forge. Oh my, Source of Watch. Difficult word this morning. And so, Sardi icons. You can have an overview how to install it. You can personalize Sardi icons. My intention is always to share the icons to for you to personalize them. Like for instance, here you see in the back here a Tron color or a black instead of a white in the Sardi Ghost Flexible and all these possibilities and endless possibilities because they are SVGs not PNGs so there are a lot of scripts inside the only thing you know should know is that the color is in hexadecimal code run the script mixing Sardi icons uh, with between Sardi's uh, icons or mixing icons from somewhere else from paper or papyrus and mix them together all is explained here, so please be creative, that is my intention. Um, that's that, so how does Sardi look in the end? That's what you want to see and that's what the uh, topic is of the movie. So we start our tweak tool, we have now Sardi Vertex, let's go all the way up to Sardi. So there are 18 variations. and. Uh, we will go over them, but we should have something open so you can see it change. So you press on Sardi and then you press the down button, which makes it quite easy to see all the kind of the variations of folders there are. Sardi Arc, Breeze Dark is the next one, coming from the Plasma, so Plasma or KDE environment. Oh yeah, whenever you see Colora, it's my intention for you to script. If you don't like the orange, you can have 16 million other colors. That's how many hexadecimal codes there are for colors. So just go inside, start the Colora uh, folder, check out the script and do it. Start the flat, start the flat Colora, so again, you can color these kind of folders, flat majestic, slightly flexible, doesn't say Colora but it's uh, scriptable as well, can change the colors, uh, flexible arc, ghost flexible, you can color these as well, mono, mono arc, Colora, you can script again, The Numix folders, you know them, but you can also color my Numix colors. Like for instance, you have here three items or even four. Eh? You have the icon, you have the body, you have the top, and there is a little paper in between. So four things to color, four hexadecimal codes, and you can have whatever color you want. And then a vertex, and a vertex, and that's it, guys. My overall feel, um, I had only one error, I think, one crash, and then you, uh, gets the, you get this pop-up and you want to report it or not. So yes, I, I reported that, but in the end everything feels very stable and, and nice, and, and programs are looking great. Uh, maybe you should check out the applications as well, so see 
107, all the icons have been checked. If I forgot something, that's normal, that's for the logouts. Don't want to change that, I'm going to keep point to look. Um, so all the applications have gone over. Where do you do that? <coughs> you go to the applications folder, user share applications. So everything should be like I call it these days, sardonized. And only thing I do is when you go over that, you go sadly mono numix and you see everything is now mono. Depending on icon theme of course you get these differences. See? But everything is grayed out, is mono. So everything has been checked. Quite useful actually to check whether an icon is uh, not following the theme, so the hard-coded links, you know how to fix them and uh, if you don't know just visit the website of Eric Dubois there is some kind of explanation here somewhere and it's called Fogalong it's an author of the hard code fixer and how to reverse hard code, we don't want to reverse, we want to do it so how to make sure all icons are coming from the Sardi icon team with the hard code fixer from Fogelon. I've reported four uh, icons here on Ubuntu, so we'll fix it soon, and then we don't have to do it manually anymore, we can run this script. Well, I, the only thing I'm left to say is enjoy uh, the system, enjoy Ubuntu 16.10, and uh, enjoy the Sardi icons. Bye for now.